Courtney. Today we're doing another flick or flop. Watching another movie we have never seen. Miraculously, we have never seen National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Yep. So we thought it was time that we watched it. Yeah. So I don't, I, I feel like I do and don't know. Like, obviously, I know they're, I feel like they're going on vacation. I know some of the jokes because yeah. I've seen it on t shirts. Yeah. I don't know, Margo. I don't know if they do go on vacation. I feel like they stay at home. Maybe it's uh, just. Maybe the other, but the other people come to them. I don't know. Is it, that's where the tree on top of the car thing comes from, yeah. too, right? You serious, Clark? Yeah. That's from that. Yeah. So that's what I know about it, I guess. I don't. I'm going to be honest. I think I'm going to be disappointed. I feel like because people love it and talk about how great of a movie it is that my expectations are high. Like for it to be funny. Yeah. But I'm like you. I'm worried I'm not going to think it's that funny. But I wonder if it's one of those movies that has the nostalgia factor built into it. Because, you know, some movies are like that. Like, for us, I would say it's like Mean Girls and Napoleon Dynamite. Like, neither one of those movies are that good on their surface. Like, Mean Girls is, a, is better than Napoleon Dynamite as a movie. But still, it's more fun to talk, talk about, about and stuff. And to a certain extent, you won't agree with me on this, but I feel like Hocus Pocus is a movie that benefits from nostalgia. Because I know a lot of people don't even like it. Mm -hmm. Or some people. But I feel like Hocus Pocus has only grown in enthusiasm because it's like a classic movie from... You know, they show it every year, so people are like, oh, Hocus Pocus. Yeah. That's how I think this movie might be. Childhood. Yeah. That you, if you've known it for so long and you just watch it every year, that you're like, this is great, but really it may not be. Yeah. We'll have to see. Yeah. Is it going to be as great as people have led us to believe? I hope it is, and I hope it's so funny. Yeah. The only... I feel like the only other National Lampoon movie I've ever seen is Van Wilder. The only one I've seen is Vegas Vacation. Yeah. And I did like it. Van Wilder was very, much, very a whole lot of locker room humor, if I'm remembering. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Yeah. So I don't know. So we'll see. Will it be a flick or will mm -hmm. it be a flop? No. Let you know when we come back. Yep. In an hour and a half or however long it is. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> See you on the flip side. All right, we're back. We just watched Christmas Vacation. Yeah. So it was actually really good. Yeah, it was funny. I was afraid I wasn't going to think it was funny. Yeah, I know, me too. But it was but really funny. I didn't think it was funny. I laughed really hard a couple times. <laughs> yeah. They did not, in fact, go anywhere. No, but... They just stayed home. Which was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. And now their home might be destroyed. Yes. <laughs> but it was really good, so... I'll probably add it to my list of movies that I watch. Maybe not every year, but, you know, definitely try to catch it if it's on or whatever. Yeah. It was, uh... I, there, there were several lines in there that I'd heard before. Yeah. That I'd seen on, like, Christmas t-shirts and stuff like that, but... Yeah. And some of the parts I knew that they happened, but I hadn't really seen them, like, the part with the cat, and, like, I knew the crazy aunt wrapped the cat up. Oh, yeah. And then, um, you know, I knew parts of... I knew about the Jelly of the Month Club thing or whatever, but... You know, the whole thing was just like a series of errors, yeah. calamity. The whole thing was a disaster. Bless his heart, poor Clark. An uncle lady showing up with the guy. <laughs> yeah. 
What a nut kidnapped his boss. Although it worked out for him, I guess. Yeah, hey. He's going to get his pool. Yeah. <laughs> and invite all these people back over for another thing because that was a smart decision. No, I would never invite any of those people to my house again. No. At least not all together. <laughs> but. Yeah, I guess I'll probably, I mean, I've seen Vegas Vacation, but now I kind of need to see the other ones. I think in regular yeah, Vacation, they go to Wally World, which is where they got those moose cups they kept drinking the eggnog out of. Okay. But I don't know, I haven't seen those. And I, the only other thing I think no. I know about them is that I think on the other ones, I think they change Rusty... And what's her face? Mm. Every movie, I think it's different people. No. Oh. Or maybe not every movie, but they definitely change. Because I know in Vegas Vacation that Rusty is played by that dude that was on The Walking Dead that one time, Ethan Embry. Oh, yeah. And then someone else played Aubrey, Audrey. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. They're a wild bunch. But it was good. So I pledge allegiance to the flag. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so I definitely give it a thumbs up. I thought it was really funny. Yeah, it was good. It was better than I thought that I well than I I was worried right. that yeah, you know. That I wouldn't think a lot of the jokes were funny, but Yeah. But so. it actually was funny. It lives up to the hype, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and I could definitely see. I still think there's probably some a nostalgia element to it, of course, too. Oh, yeah. That makes it people think it's better and better and better, but I get that now. Like, I would be on board with that, too. Yeah. So. If you hadn't, or if you'd watched it from childhood, or you yeah. watched it back then, around when it came out, you know, and now you still watch it, it's probably more treasured yeah. than somebody just now watching it. But. Right. But it was still really good. So. Even just now watching it. So Another classic movie. Success. Damn. Another good flick. Not a flop. So come back. For more stuff and things. We'll be doing watching more movies we've never seen. Mm -hmm. And doing other things too. We'll be talking about things. We'll be drinking about things. Yep. Correct. We're great. That's how we do around here. The show is great. Tell your <laughs> friends. Like and subscribe below and all that jazz. All the things the youth of America does. Yep. Catch us on the TikToks. Just kidding. We're not on there. <laughs> Catch us on the... I've won. Actually, I was a guest star in someone else's TikTok. Oh. I was not. Tweet so, us on Facebook. Two. <laughs> I've been a two TikTok. I don't know what's going on over here. I was being Johnny Rose. <laughs> Tweet us on Facebook. <laughs> go on to the Twitter. <laughs> yeah, go on to the Twitter and send us all of your TikToks of Facebook usage. Alright. Don't do any of that. Just like and subscribe and tell your friends about us. Bye. Bye.